Got a little bit of a um, three-day old potato bag. A bit of a swanger, square swanger. Got a pop yolk. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's living, boys. All right, this is the board track. This is basically Renmark, South Australia. We got camped probably 20 k's out of Renmark last night. Rocked in, I don't know what it was, probably eight o'clock. Just got a bit of firewood, had a bit of a campfire. Kyle, he uh, cooked us up some mad ribs, um, broccolini. Kyle, what else was with your ribs? A um, little uh, pompy garlic chimichurri. Bit of a chimichurri sauce. Little, uh, Nick, Nick was potato bake, five different cheeses. We also had the potato bake for um, breakfast this morning, so that was good. Um, Aaron Down, pretty well, it's from Renmark down to Border Town along the South Australian Victorian border. Nothing too difficult. Um, sandy hills, a few sandy climbs. Um, it's fairly damp, uh, so probably going to be pretty compact, just dropping down to 20 psi. Um, but yeah, should be good. We'll camp towards the end of it tonight, somewhere, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's actually not bad weather, really. A bit of a, bit of a breeze, a bit of a chill breeze, but um, pretty clear skies, which is a bit of a surprise, so should be a good time. <laughs> Living boys. Um, it's like you've spun a belt. Spun a belt <laughs> already. I don't know when that happened. No. <clears throat> Come off. No, you just hear a bit of a yeah, like a squeak. <laughs> yeah. And the leak was found because because it looked under it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Thing, so. And then there was a sound at the back. Oh shit. Rear fan belt's <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an old man. Nice and clean in here actually. Soon fix that. <laughs> it just doesn't want to stay in, doesn't it? Do well, we got eight meters. See if we can um, get a bit more successful down the road now.
too far Kyle. Eight meters. And we're looking underneath it. <laughs> Angus's 80 series. Yeah, look, he, um, he's not off to a good start. <laughs> Hopefully that belt, the belt flicked off there. Don't know why or how. Jordan and Angus just heard a weird sound and um, poked their head under. The belt was off and there was a little uh, coolant leak under there. Um, so yeah, Jordan's running in with Angus in the 80. Um, it, obviously, this is Kyle. Probably haven't seen Kyle before. Welcome to the trip, mate. Howdy, mate. Um, and Hamish running up there, shotgun in Marco's Defender. So a couple new faces. Um, like we said, back at camp, not a huge track and it shouldn't be too difficult, but good excuse to get away and camp and, camp and swag and a good weekend. So hopefully it's a bit of excitement. Although it's not too hard, we have already run into some yeah. difficulties early. <laughs> First so. eight metres were treacherous. <laughs> it's all downhill from here, mate. <laughs> Thoughts so far? Um, like very basic drive, just a dirt road, but um, nice and green. It's actually quite pretty. Um, sand, this is the top end of it, so this is pretty well just a dirt track. Down a bit further, more sand dunes, um, probably a bit more water, I'd say, a, bit, a few bog holes, so yeah, still a nice Saturday drive. We've uh, had a few mechanical issues already, done a belt, had a coolant leak. Oxide is rubbing on the body, but spirits are high, aren't they? They're very high. We finally rounded up the boys and got away for a weekend. Now, Nick and myself have driven this one five odd years ago, but aside from that, it should be a fun adventure for all of us. This one's a great track for those looking to start heading off road in their Forby, just like young Angus here. With about the only accessories needed would be a set of Max Tracks and a compressor to put some air back into your tyres. We jumped off the highway late last night at the SA Vic border just out of Renmark. The first stretch south of Pinaroo is around 100 kilometres. It's the easiest stretch with some sections nothing more than a slow dirt road. From Pinaroo, the next 100 kilometres has large sand dunes and from memory some nasty mud holes for that street cred on the way home. Now one thing to keep in mind is a fair stretch of the border track is National Park. So firewood needs to be brought in and the campsites need to be booked. And like any time you travel, what you take in, you take out. Well, we can only assume that because it's been so damn windy, that uh, she sent these tumbleweeds all through. And it's pretty annoying actually. of getting to camp before it's dark. I think we're going to have to make the decision ourselves. I, I, think, I think we're going to have to make the executive decision. Yeah.
tomorrow. That's a bit more eventful, a bit more tunes and whatever. And so yeah, my turn to cook tonight. Steak singers, you might do the steak for me though. Seems you the cook. And just like that, Nick palms off his one and only job for the weekend. So it sounds like Kyle's cooking again tonight. The chances of getting to camp before sunset have also gone out the window. Although it's not difficult, the whoops make for some slow driving. But before too long, we're sitting around the campfire, steak sanger in one hand, frothy in the other. The day couldn't have ended any better. Overnight, we were reminded it's the middle of winter and the rain has set in. Yeah. What's going on here, boys? Just having a check out the old uh, back of the 80. Pros and cons. Mm -hmm. and look at the opportunity for another battery, maybe. Net's a bit saggy, isn't it? Net is beyond terrible. I think we might have to do a bit of a walk around this one, Angus. <coughs> yeah, I think so. It's come a long way now from the initial set setup. But yeah, the other gull wing definitely to go in. And then happy with that? Yeah. I think it would be good to take it out and paint some of it, like the bracket on the inside maybe, but overall happy with the performance of it, it hasn't leaked. Yeah, super, super useful. And yeah, to be able to come over and reach into it. Cruiser company. Hey, there's Mark. How'd you get in there? What's one of these worth? 400 bucks. So yeah, you, pretty good. Like little things probably paint this all black if I did it again or, or mm -hmm. pull it out. A business as such, or is it like? But yeah, everything else comes together pretty good. Uh, What's the plan yeah. today, Marco? Yeah, cool. Well, still early days yet, so yeah, I think we'll throw another coffee on. Free money. Um, we have packed up a little bit. Swag's packed up, so throw a coffee on, and yeah, we got a big breakfast. breakfast. Big breakfast rolls. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Definitely. Beautiful. Um, then we're probably in more the technical side of the border track now, I'd say. So a few more hill climbs, but it's wet. We had a sprinkle of rain last night, so everything will be easy as to drive, I reckon. You'd probably be able to just idle up rather than need to a 40 degree day. You actually would need the pace to get up some of these hills, but I reckon we, you'd almost stop and start on these hills today. But we'll find out. Yeah, be a good day to mosey on up. How many copies, boys? Yeah, I'll grab one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Red hot. So Kyle, um, bit of a rookie error last night. Well, let's, how about you run run the audience through where you set your swag up? Oh, uh, look, I did a Jordan Viney. I looked up to the stars and I predicted no rain and uh, sort of put myself half in, half out. Directly under the gutter line. <laughs> bit of bloody water pulled up here and at one point she she woke me up like a fresh Fresh cup of water to the face. <laughs> Tell you what, it was bloody refreshing. <laughs> Three in the morning. Pretty cold. <laughs> oh, just rolling out of camp this morning. Another ripping breakfast. What are we? 11 o'clock, so <laughs> late. Bit of a late start. Probably the more entertaining section. It's raining probably the heaviest it has since we've I don't know, a bit of a dumping last night that she found out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, track conditions are going to be pretty bloody easy, I reckon. Um, but still good fun. Brody's up front, Mark's behind me. Let's uh, see if this rain can stop so we can get out and enjoy it. But um, no, let it flow, baby. Looks like it's settled in, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just as we're rolling out of camp, 
the heavens really opened up and she started coming down. So in the space of about 20 seconds, I just got drenched. But we've got the demisters doing a great job here in the Defender. Demisting about, what, maybe <laughs> a quarter of the windscreen, just enough to look out of. It's only taken 15 minutes. Yeah, there. and it's only taken, yeah, maybe 15 minutes. Amish had no idea where the buttons were, which is a fair call. I'm surprised he found the wipers. So yeah. Uh, Hopefully we don't get too stuck today, because we're going to get wet. Yeah, we're definitely going to get wet today. The poor old cameraman. Which might be Hamish later. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the track's going to be a lot easier, honestly. So we'll see how we go. Hamish just drove the patrol up. Were you even in uh, four? Yeah, I did. You did? Oh, okay. So he was in high range, but <coughs> it's that compact that I think Nick said he's been doing most this morning, just in rear wheel drive. So it's a Sunday drive. We're basically going to get the Sunday night. <laughs> it is the long way around. Yeah. one of these little sandy hill climbs. Everything's been really easy. Um, but this one to the right actually looks le less used, so I'll be a bit more of a challenge. That's the border track.
you reckon? That's the border track? Done. That is the border track. A little bit boring when it's wet. Long. Very easy to do. Um, be good when it was sandy and dry. Yeah, yeah. It is harder, a lot harder when it's hot and dry. Yeah, it's been um, raining all day, so. The area looks pretty yeah. nice. Oh, lot of, very nice. A lot of whoops. A yeah. lot of whoops. There's a lot of head banging going on yep. in cab, but yeah, well worth it. A little weekender for anyone that wants to tackle it. Um, beginners probably enjoy it. Oh, I reckon perfect beginners yeah. track. Definitely. Like this even. sort of weather. <laughs> this weather. Oh, probably do it in your Commodore. Barely, yeah, barely <laughs> worth it, I'd say. But summertime, yeah, great beginners track. I'd, like four max tracks. Perfect view, Angus. Yeah, it'd be great for <laughs> that, That's why Angus will. So he brought me along, Angus did we? Do it again. <laughs> oh, cool. Test out the old 80. Yeah. I thought it went all right. Drive a little iffy. <laughs> little. Car not bad. Great guy. Though. But yeah, it's worth a, worth a trek. Yeah, the, there is more to, I guess, the the track, or there is more the to drive. Order yeah. Track. But from memory, it was big bog holes. So, and that was years ago. And from everything I've seen since, yeah, they've just been getting bigger and bigger. So none of us are really looking for it. When I did it last, you drive into a bog hole and there was a little bit of, it was summer. You were going below yep. ground level. Ground level. Yeah. So ground. if you didn't know that was that deep, you'd <laughs> hold cars under. Yeah. That'd be something else. Unless it's been changed since then. But from what I've heard, it yeah. hasn't. Yeah, same. So that doesn't really appeal to me. No. 